Well, good afternoon. It is Thursday, February 20th, and welcome to another break from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This afternoon, I'm going to be breaking open a hobby box of come out, I think, the end of last month or beginning of this month, but the Star Wars Black and White Return of the Jedi. It's just a single box. I think there's, what, six or eight packs. I wonder if it says here somewhere. Seven packs, eight cards a pack. And then there's some of your info on the back. Looks like there's a no purchase necessary contest at the bottom, but then there's all your odds there. So feel free to pause the video and look at that. But without further ado, we're just going to rip into it. I was kind of bummed. I was looking for some some hockey, either a lore or some Series 2 at the LCS, and I didn't have it, but I had a box of this, so I said, what the heck? There's only one on the shelf, and it was decent enough price, so I decided to just grab it. So here we go. And I know there's a multitude of parallels in this. So like right there, there there's a four of five Darth Vader. So that's pretty short print. I'm not sure what color that is considered because the thing is I would call it sepia, but I'm not sure what it would be. So set that in the background. We got a B-Wing art card. Whoops. I guess it's that direction. And Vader and Luke. And then <laughs> C-3PO and Jabba's Palace. Next pack. Vader. Luke and fighting the Rancor. Leia in the nice little metal bikini, Han and Chewie. There's a parallel. I'm not sure again what color that is, but Luke on the sail barge. Boba Fett, iconic character. Jabba in Bib Fortuna. And then Luke on Endor. Excuse me. The forest moon of Endor. Next pack, Jabba's Palace, the regular Vader, compared to the very short print, the super, super short print. That's one of the cutscenes that was, was not in the film, when the Emperor and Vader and then two of the Emperor's little minions there, he walks the blue <clears throat> one of the posters for the three films a Star Wars marathon poster R2 and Ewoks and then Luke after they had the big breakdown of the whole you know trying to enlist the Ewoks help in battling the Empire the 3PO tells his little story and then they were welcomed into the clan so then R2 and <coughs> Wicket there's Luke that was when he's talking to Vader the Emperor holding Luke's lightsaber Han and the rebels going into the Shield generator bunker, Gamorian guard, a behind the scenes. Uh, when Luke's got, looks like he's down in the Rancor pit. Vader unmasked. Again, 3PO along with the rest of the main cast consulting with the Ewoks. So, this, 
That looks like the hit, so I'm gonna set that one aside and wait. I think there's only one one hit per box, so <laughs> the Rancor and Luke. Or excuse me, Gamorian Guard and Luke. When they first got tossed into the pit. Luke and Bib Fortuna. Size Noodles and the Max Rebo Band. Vader. Admiral Akbar. Behind the scenes. Looks like a miniature of the Ewoks in their village. Moff Jajarid and Vader. All the cast on board. The Millennium Falcon is uh, heading. Actually, that wouldn't have been the Millennium Falcon. Sorry, that would have been on the Shuttle Tidarium. Creatures in Jabba's Palace. Luke again fighting the Rancor. The arrival of the Emperor and the Emperor's guards. Luke speaking to the ghost of Obi-Wan. A green, number to 99, 84 of 99. Luke during his battle with Vader when he's on the catwalk behind the scenes. Probably Richard Markand. Chewbacca. And that's got to be when they were tied up. 3PO. In low gray. So let's go back to our hit and see what we got. Because I couldn't tell what, if it's an autograph or what, but the battle scene when they are being confronted by the Ewoks. We'll go from the back here and when Leia got caught by the biker scout. And she was talking with, oh, that's a nice one. Luke having his final meeting with Yoda on Dagobah. General Maidin, iconic character, and the hit. What the heck is that? What the heck? Oh, sorry, it's... <clears throat> There's two things. It was stuck. The blue parallel. That's the final celebration after they blew up the second Death Star. Oh, low gray. It's a dang Ewok. But it's number to 25. 14 of 25. Again, not the best autograph i would have rather had a sketch card in lieu of that granted it is a short print but i suppose though the super short print vader card is a nice hit and i'll top load the autograph even though, again, it's a sticker auto, and it's Mike Edmonds as low gray. So, again, I don't know if you can see the numbering there. Try to get it in the right light. 14 of 25. And I have the Luke on the mezzanine. Or crosswalk when he's in the emperor's throne room and that's number 84 of 99 and to me the the best hit out of the whole break is number four out of five vader the dark lord yep yeah, number four of five so that concludes the break thanks for watching and keep collecting